you know, demand for Bitcoin miners actually suffered in the route from crypto? Yeah, I think the answer is very much we're still in the early stages of the market. So most of our customers and, and miners in general are early adopters. I don't think it has gone mass market. And I think that there's a misconception around what crypto and blockchain is. Most people don't actually understand it. And the early adopters believe there's a sense of belief that's still there from the mass market potential. Um, I think we're yet to come. Okay, so when does that happen, the mass market potential? And what do your investors ask you? Yeah, I think the mass market potential comes when people actually start to simplify and understand what crypto and blockchain is. And what it is, and I think it's a very good week to discuss it, is it's a reaction to what happened 10 years ago, which is that centralized control of ledgers has some downside, right? In the mortgage crisis, and examples, banks and governments, in lending, the reality is that by centralizing ledgers, uh, you have a tax and a toll and censorship. And Bitcoin is a good example of a decentralized ledger, which has a really important feature, which is uh, censorship resistance. And when people start to understand the power of that, I think it will become more mass market. But does it need to be regulated in the meantime? Otherwise, people. So he brings up a great point. But what I believe adoption of crypto will happen is when your stock portfolio is wiped out because it's really hard for people to have any interest in cryptocurrencies when uh, you can put your money in the S&P 500 or some other investments and you know see some decent returns especially in fang stocks but like i said there's all there's bubbles everywhere there's a real estate bubble there's a stock bubble and there was a crypto bubble and so when these bubbles start to deflate just like it did in 2008 when you know in 2009 is when bitcoin was created I think the same thing will happen. So you will see a mass adoption. And especially with the technology improving and cell phones and smartphones being more available, you'll see a lot of third world countries that do not want to deal with uh, government <laughs> currencies because uh, the governments are inefficient and unstable. So they will move to more and more crypto adoption. And a market I would recommend to take a look at is the Philippines. The Philippines have had issues with the peso and there is a lot of Filipinos that will just take crypto instead. And obviously it wasn't a good idea in June or March, um, even January to be paid in crypto. But now as the price has been a little more stable and uh, if we actually see more and more growth, uh, people will switch. And once the switch is made, it's not going to turn around. And I do see the market cap going back to 850 billion, if not breaking a trillion. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.